What's going on guys? Welcome back to another review edition of Learn Crypto. My name is Nick Hellman and today we are talking about ICON and its native token ICX. The ICON project is a decentralized transaction network and applications platform. It will allow blockchains with different governance models to transact with one another. You may know this as interoperability. Other projects that we've discussed in the past such as Cardano are working to have interoperability across multiple chains. Its goal is to connect users with hospitals, universities, financial institutions, capital markets, and more. It already has partnerships with over two dozen institutions. Recently, ICON was created and is based out of South Korea. South Korea is a country with a very clear demand for blockchain technology, with government officials and financial regulators open to supporting cryptocurrencies. So recently we did discuss this on our live show. I don't know if you guys catch me live ever, ever but uh, Korea's finance minister approves banks working with crypto exchanges. Choi Jung-koo, the commissioner of Financial Services Commission of South Korea, has reaffirmed that there exist no issues related to compliance and security in the process of banks providing virtual bank accounts to local cryptocurrency exchanges. Yet another move from South Korean government that they are going to be on the forefront of blockchain technology and they want to see how they can use it to benefit not only the government but their country and its citizens. In South Korea crypto exchanges employ a unique system called virtual bank accounts that enable users to deposit and withdraw the South Korean won instantly so that users can hold KRW on exchanges securely. Bithum, Ubit, Gopax, Corbit, Coin1 and other large cryptocurrency exchanges have also recently been approved by the government of South Korea for having sufficient security measures and internal management systems in place. So why does it, what does this have to do with an ICON review? Well, like I said, ICON is based out of South Korea and is working with some government partnerships that we'll talk here shortly. On top of that, ICON is available, ICON, ICX at least, is available on many of the exchanges I just named. And having a fiat pairing is huge. We are seeing volume continue to increase for the, the Korean won, KRW, and ICX will be a beneficiary of this volume and accessibility and liquidity during the next bull run. Facilitating the network of ICON is the native token ICX. Formerly, ICX was an ERC-20 token, but has just been swapped to its own blockchain last month. This was a one-for-one -one swap, and if you owned ICX, there was many ways that you could do it, but I know the easiest and the one that most people did was just simply store your ICX on Binance, and they went ahead and did this token swap for you. ICX tokens are utility tokens required to use and participate in the ICON network and its growing ecosystem. Thus, the value of the ICX tokens is directly correlated to the utilization and the value of the ICON network. Some of the key and basic value propositions of IC ICX are fees for transactions, smart contract execution, and running dApps on the ICON network. Pretty consistent with a lot of these utility tokens and cryptocurrencies we are seeing across the board when it is referring to a protocol token. But this is expanding for governance models, decentralized exchange pairings, and ICOs on the ICON Nest will be able to be funded via Ethereum or ICX. We know how the ICO boom of 2017 led to a very prosperous uh, future in price action for Ethereum, and I think this is just another utility of the ICX token that will benefit this network moving forward. The real big news for ICON recently is that three new products have just been announced that will add another wave of utilization for the ICON network and its native token ICX. If you remember from earlier, I told you that there's a direct correlation of the ICX value and the utilization and value of the underlying ICON network. That is why this article is so important. Proof of progress, ICON demos three nearly ready government backed projects. We were just talking about how the South Korean government is very pro blockchain and it seems that they have leached to ICON and its technology to help its civilization and its citizens move forward with the new tech that we find so interesting. People within ICON have been talking about government linked projects for the past few months but on Monday we saw the first real proof of progress. ICON demoed three projects in partnership with the Seoul Metropolitan Government during the second Seoul International Digital Festival. The ICON demo included three different components, ICON Blockchain Identification Card, ICON Blockchain Vote, and the ICON Blockchain S-Coin Payments. 
The identification card is a blockchain-based national ID. Just like you might have a driver's license or a social security card, this digital footprint with blockchain technology means it is immutable and it cannot be duplicated, replicated, or manipulated, leading to you and only you. The second initiative, Soul Coin or S Coin, is a cryptocurrency and payment method being tested by the city of Seoul. It's designed to make cashless transactions possible even without a conventional cash register. Now, you might be asking, well, that's not the ICX token. That's bringing value proposition to a whole new cryptocurrency. But this cryptocurrency will be built on top of ICON, and I'm sure there is hosting fees or transaction fees that will be settling in ICX. So on this one, we will have to stay tuned if that finite value proposition will affect the price of ICX. But nonetheless, it does increase the utilization of the ICON network. And the third initiative, ICON Blockchain Vote, puts the aforementioned ID card and S-Coin to use. The ID serves as a unique identifier, making secure online voting possible, while also eliminating the double spend problem that has made public officials shy away from online ballots. After voting, citizens receive rewards in S-Coin. The monetary incentive, along with the ability to vote remotely, has the potential to increase South Korea's average voter turnout. This is also a way that we can kind of get around some of the fraud that happens even in in-person voting booths where people are getting to vote multiple times or voting via some somebody in their family who's passed away. Now you have one set identification card that is tracked via the blockchain which only can have one vote per candidate or per race that is going on for the giving time. Many projects that boast much larger market caps are quite behind in terms of enterprise adoption and only a handful of them have attained the level of institutional backing that ICON has. Now remember that ICON is the actual network, or think of it as the business, while ICX is the utility token that helps run everything that this business or blockchain partners with or runs on their network. This makes them an extremely attractive investment prospect, especially for investment firms that are looking to diversify their portfolio in specific regions, with ICON being dominant in Korea and Korea always having a always having been at the global forefront of technology and blockchain, ICON seems to be well positioned for mass adoption and utilization moving forward. I really truly believe, looking at this chart over here, that ICON and ICX are well positioned for the future. Although ICON and ICX have come down from its highs during this bear market, just like so many other altcoins, I think the partnerships you can see here with Wanchain and Aeon are very strong for the crypto ecosystem. You also notice here in the top left that Coin One is a partnership, a partner in some capacity with Icon as well. Coin One is an up-and-coming exchange that is increasing volume by the day, and with the recent acceptance of government approval, is seeing KRW pairs explode. I think ICX is well positioned here in this marketplace as well. Overall, I like Icon and I like its utility, utility token ICX. I really like Wanchain and Aeon as well. I think that trifecta of partnerships is going to create great utility and great utilization moving forward. Let me know what you think about ICX in the description below. Are we in some of the same agreement? Are we not in the same agreement? And if you are a Patreon member, you will be viewing this video first, but also this will be accompanied by a technical analysis from Todd Butterfield. So let me know what you think about that over on Patreon and Discord as well. Until next time, guys, stay tuned for your daily updates on cryptocurrencies right here at Learn Crypto.